Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. You know, there's nothing more that I love than a good office Christmas party. Oh. A yes. good office Christmas party is good. You you can see some things. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and you see another side Ooh. of people that you don't usually get to see at work. Oh. Well, today on the show, we have some things you should never, ever say to your coworkers at the office holiday party, Ron. Yeah. That's next on Men Are So Smart. Don't miss this episode. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. If this is your first time seeing our show, thank you for watching. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And when you do, click the bell. That way you'll get notifications each time a new show comes out. Happy, happy holidays. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Yeah. I love that song. Yeah, happy Honda days, too. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too much booze, end of year stress, and coworkers can be a recipe for disaster, my friends. That's why office holiday parties are such a minefield of awkward situations, kind of like my radio show. Uh, many offices are doing away with alcohol or the party altogether in the wake of sexual misconduct scandals currently plaguing a range of industries. So today we have compiled a list for you of things you should not say or do at the company office party, Ron. Yeah, I like this first one. Could you introduce me to your daughter or son? What? Or whichever the case may be. Yeah. Uh, avoid hitting on your coworkers' relatives. It's awkward <laughs> and it's not going to end well. <laughs> be careful about jokes or crude remarks. There's nothing like your colleague asking to be introduced to your daughter that really makes the night and subsequent days at work uncomfortable. I'll say. Oh boy, I know I showed uh, my one of my sergeants at work one day a picture of my daughter. He was She was with Sammy Agar. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yes, and he's like, I don't even know what to say. Because <laughs> my daughter's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I, I don't want to offend you, but wow, your daughter. <laughs> and I go, I get that a lot. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you get used to it after a while, huh? Yeah. All right, on our list of things you should never say at your company or office Christmas party, I never realized you had such an amazing body. The way you dress in the, you're welcome, Ronnie. The way you dress in the office is far too conservative. You know, you should be wearing a garter belt and nylon. Jesus, where are you taking this, buddy? Are you, what are you setting yourself up for? Uh, Director of Human Capital Services, Jackie Breslin says, give a compliment that is appropriate and won't make a coworker uncomfortable. A fair number of workplace complaints regarding inappropriate conduct have an origin at the company holiday party. Another thing shouldn't do, I'm gonna add here a little caveat, uh, don't photocopy your ass. <laughs> Not the time to do that. Uh oh. And really, you know what, no one wants to see that. Well, no. Yeah, a few people, but. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. All right, this next one, can I drive you home? Hmm. Seems helpful enough. Yeah, if it's under the right guise. Exactly. Mm. So, if you and your coworkers have been drinking, it's important to make sure your coworkers are safe to drive. However, if you're not sure about a colleague's level of intoxication, uh, intoxication, don't want to sound overbearing or off-putting. Yeah. Instead, try this. I hate driving home after a party, don't you? Let's call it a night and get an Uber. Bingo. Yeah. That's a winning recipe right there. And I was telling you earlier, I used to uh, work at a Honda dealership, and we had a Christmas party that was amazing. Happy Holland, Honda Holland days. Yeah, happy Honda days. Right. Thank you, Norris, for the amazing Christmas parties. But since I didn't drink, they gave me a brand new Honda Odyssey that I could drive all weekend, as long as I drove the drunks home from the party. <laughs> well, it got to the point where I would drive one home, get back to the party, another one would jump in, drive one home. I was never at the party. My <laughs> wife said, I, I didn't see you all night. I, yeah. I wasn't here all night. Right. So it really is. I think it's important. Now, not to mention the fact that you sp spend a lot of your time as a police officer driving drunks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it was kind of way, way too familiar to me. All right. On our list of things you should never say or do at the office party, do not ever say, 
I am so drunk right now. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, don't be that person. No. You know, the one who drinks too much and inflicts terrible karaoke or tearful <laughs> confessions, that's the worst. <laughs> or some other form of sloppy drama on everybody else. Uh, it's one thing to have a drink or two throughout the evening. It's another thing to make you, your mission to get drunk at the company party. And I think people do that because the drinks are normally free. Right. At the radio station where I work, we have a yearly holiday party. And you know, I keep, I keep going back and forth here between saying Christmas and holiday. It's Christmas. I, I, I know, I agree. Sometimes holiday fits the, the sentencing better. But, True. You know, um, we do this where we have cocktails from 6 to 6.45, and then dinner is served, and then dessert and gift exchange and all that kind of stuff. But there's a window of opportunity for the drinking. Now, if you're a dumbass douchebag, you might try to consume 15 drinks in that 45 minutes. Right. And in that case, you deserve whatever you end up with. Right. But, you know, a 45-minute socializing cocktail hour is just perfect. Super and then for like two drinks. And, right. Yeah. And, and, and the company pays for those two drinks, and right. it's at the beginning of the evening, so yep. you're not consuming on their money and booze at the end of the night where you leave and you're driving drunk. So my point is... One or two drinks. Yep. You know, and then you're going to say to me, well, I'm a little smaller. I'm a little bigger. Well, two drinks, okay? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're done. I know it, uh, at the Honda Christmas party, every single year, everybody waited for Sherry, I'll say her name, to get up on a table and dance. <laughs> and it was her, it was a tradition. Everyone loves Sherry. <laughs> yes. And so it was quite, I just expected it. It's like, Huh. It's nine o'clock. She hasn't been on the table what yet. What the hell? Somebody buy her another drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could move this party along. Come yeah. On. All right. This next one. Oh, and this is this might be the worst. Have you heard? What happened? Yeah. Rumors. Oh, oh. Rumors and gossip. Oh, don't engage in gossip or feed the rumor mill at the office party. People can't help themselves. Oh, it's it's absolutely the worst. Uh it's not the time or the place. Unless it's very innocuous, spreading off office gossip is rude and unprofessional. Not the place. Now, uh, avoid mean girl gossip and instead engage with colleagues about their lives outside the cubicle. You know, mm. ask them about their, their kids, their hobbies, stuff yeah. you don't have time to talk to people this about when you're at work. Bowling, softball, yeah. football, anything exactly. but work. Yeah. And you know what? If you come up to me at an office party and you say... Hey, you know, Jim and Carol said that the the, the law was after the... I'm going to say, look, you know what? I'm not here for that. Right. You know, if you want to talk about Christmas traditions or holiday songs or whatever, sure. But I'm not going to talk about work at all. No. And I'll say that to a person. Could be, unless they want to talk about sweaty balls. Well, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a whole episode on sweaty. <laughs> I think it was Pete Schweddy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is. He's a great guy. Uh, innocuous. Uh, nine things you should never say to your coworkers at the office party. I hate my boss. Ooh. I'm putting in my notice. People, do you realize that when you cut through all the crap, everyone is competing for a better position or more pay? Right. Do you know how quickly someone will slash your throat? Uh, when you got your back turned yep. because you said something like that, do not give them ammunition to fire at you, okay? Oh. The holiday party is neither the time nor the place to whine about your supervisor or announce that you're quitting. Right. Save serious complaints and news for a regular workday. Even then, it's not a very good idea. No. Holiday parties should not be used as a chance to vent or complain. No one likes a Grinch. Uh, plus, it's very unprofessional. What's more, you should be careful not to divulge sensitive information or start conversations that should be had in a highly professional setting. Do not say stupid things like, I hate my boss. I'm putting in my notice. Do not. You know, jobs are not good jobs are not easy to get. Mm -mm. Uh, and if you have a job that you don't sit out in your car and cry for a half hour before you go in every day, mm -hmm. that's probably a pretty OK job. Uh, so I would be very careful about pulling the pin on any job. I know 
it is fairly popular these days to job hop a little bit looking for that perfect fit mm -hmm. the best time to look for a job is when you already have a job boy that's the truth yeah. and a lot of times what happens is when you're doing a good job you might get solicited by someone for another job yep and perhaps maybe you're going to need a reference yeah um, oh boy and you know one other thing if i might add your job is not who you are your job is just what you do right all right keep yep. that in mind yep Okay, this one, whew, this is this is a little touchy. You don't go around asking people, did you get your bonus yet? Yeah, that's, mm. oh my. Because you know what? Uh, in places I've worked before, not everybody got a bonus. Right. Not everybody was even aware that, that there some was people, a bonus. Yeah, that some people got bonuses. <laughs> that's how good they kept the secret. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it can be a particularly sensitive su uh, subject. In all likelihood, not everyone in your company is getting a bonus this year. Avoid compensation related talk in general. Oh, God, and never tell anybody what your bonus was for. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. How much, I mean. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. uh, in a social setting like a holiday party, it can feel more permissible to talk about subjects you'd normally say for behind closed doors. Uh, instead, save those types of conversations for another time and use the easygoing atmosphere to make some new connections and relate to others on a personal level. Maybe that you don't get to talk to at work normally. Yeah, I mean, sit down at their table. Just say yeah. hi. You know, I'm Jim, and I know we don't get to see each other much, but, uh, you know, how's it going? How was your year? Did you, or, uh, you know, how, what are you doing for Christmas? That sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, and finally on our list today, everything's going pretty well in our department. Oh. Don't want to say that. Many of the professionals oh. that this article spoke to agreed on one thing. Work is a major topic to be avoided at the holiday Christmas party. Yep. En encourage your employees to turn off work mode. That's what I was telling you earlier. I was still stuck in radio mode when I got here. <laughs> you got to shift gears uh, and learn about their coworkers' passions and hobbies. That's exactly what you were saying, Ronnie. Yep. It's also important to warn your guests not to bring up jarring questions about work. Oftentimes, people find that employees, spouses, or partners will ask about the opportunities for advancement or raise issues uh, or raise issues of concern at a holiday party. For example, they'll ask about bonus achievements, stock option success, reorganization, or if their loved one will get a new opportunity they applied for, and if they didn't get it, feedback on how display, uh, displeased they are. Man, oh man, I, you know what? I think we really can wrap this whole thing up by saying, Ronnie, do not drink too much. Right. Do not talk about work. Do not gossip. Right. Do not get naked. Do not well. get on the table. No, Ronnie, no. <laughs> no? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> Do not get on the table. <laughs> These are common sense things, people. It's your work environment. And I know what you're saying to yourself. Well, I want to cut loose. Yeah, sure. Sure. Two drinks. Yeah. Well, okay. and you know what? A, a work party is a is a compensation that your, your boss is providing for Someone you. Someone needs to pay for it. Someone's paying for this and they certainly don't want to ruin, ruin people's lives or careers. So it's a time to go out there, enjoy some free food, a couple free drinks, and meet some people you haven't, you know, talked to very much. And use Uber to drive home. Yeah. Okay? Yep. You know, you just, you don't want to be out on the roads. Uh, police officers are looking for people at this time of the year. Yep. They know that Christmas parties are going oh, on. Yeah. They're trying to keep the roadways safe. And if they see you swerving or veering, trust me, you're going to get pulled over. And you're going to jail. And you have so many other options. Yeah. You oh, don't need to do that. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our show today. On I things. know I did. I did too. I learned a lot, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> That's what stuck out in my oh, mind after all Sherry of these. Sherry, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you liked the episode, we appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, at the end of this video, you will see where you have an opportunity to do that as well. There's a link uh, along with below. We'll take your comments and whatever you might have to say below. Uh, along you'll find our sponsors and all of our social media and whatnot. I think it's about time we get out of here, Ronnie. I'm ready. Let's go get 10 beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's five days worth. <laughs> uh, two. Uh, <laughs> I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And Merry Christmas to all of you from Men Are So Smart.